good morning today we are going to discuss about a one important topic that is a acid base controlled molecular shuttle that is very important thing this acid base controlled molecular shuttle is made up of one protoxen this is the this is the 3d model for protoxen molecules this is the actual chemical structure of the protoxen and this is the model to compare so now we can compare both of this so here are this phenyl group this bulky group is made up of this phenyl group after that uh, these two positive charges are compared with the bipyridinium positive charges and uh, this ammonium site we can compare like this and these are uh, uh, diphenyl diphenyl crown it is a macromolecular chain that is uh, we can compare with this ring after that uh, anthracene molecules are there these anthracene molecules uh, we can compare this this this, uh, this uh, ball so here are two bulky molecules are interconnected by one rod okay so now that one of the chain that means this type uh, diphenyl crown is interlocked between these two dumb, two dumb, dumb cells so this is the example of uh, that uh, rotaxane molecule okay so now how it works what is the function of this rotaxane before going to that uh, we have to see about chemical properties of these uh, rotaxane molecules yes see in this uh, this nitrogen is having positive charge this ammonium side is having a positive charge and uh, the attraction between this positive charge and uh, this oxygen is uh, very very uh, more this attractive force is very more compared to that the attractive force between this positive charge and this oxygen so oxygens are having lone pair of electrons so the attraction between that in the intramolecular attraction between this oxygen all these oxygens and the center ammonium side is more Attract attraction is more but uh, when compared to this ambipyridinium this attraction is very less so always this chain has been placed here only because of the existence of interaction between uh, this oxygen and this nitrogen ammonium site ammonium site so that uh, attraction between this ammonium site and uh, this oxygen all of these oxygens makes this ring uh, to become more stable at this position but uh, when uh, this bipyridinium that uh, positive charge involved partially involved in the delocalization reactions uh, somewhat it is having less uh, attraction towards this oxygen so this is the normal chemical structure chemical properties so next uh, we have to see about acid base controlled shuttle so in this molecule first we are applying base that means we are applying oh minus to remove one of the h plus so that a positive charge on this nitrogen has been neutralized by deprotonation reaction that means we are using acid to replace this nitrogen and uh, that uh, bond now the two electrons from this nh bond comes to the nitrogen and nitrogen has been neutralized so there is no charge in this ammonium site so now we see this if there is no charge in this ammonium site automatically this crown either has been attracted attracted towards this bipyridinium positive charge so this crown ring now has been removed or has been moved from this place and it is going towards this bipyridinium and this ring reaches this bipyridinium position so now shuttle one has been shaken place so now the ring which has been presented there is now presented in this uh, uh, positive charged bipyridinium uh, position so now again you protonate now if you protonate that lone pair of electrons of this nitrogen has been consumed by h plus ion and uh, again positive charge has been retained there on the nitrogen that means uh, ammonium side again created now nitronium ion nit nit nitrogen ion nitrogen positive charge in nitrogen ion is now again created so now you come there now now uh, that attractive force between this oxygen and uh, this nitrogen has been retained so that the ring uh, starts to move from bipyridinium to that original position previous ammonium site position so by this protonation and deprotonation we can move this ring between these two dump cells that means we can move this ring between uh, two that bulky molecules so we can make this as a molecular mission for particular biological functions so next one is a molecular elevator in this molecular elevator three rotaxane molecules are combined together by one bulky macromolecule which is placed at the top in bottom all these rotaxane molecules are having individual component so that the center center chain that macromolecular chain which is shared commonly throughout these three rotaxanes now this chain can move up and down by the acid base reaction if you deprotonate this that uh, that ring uh, that macromolecule uh, ring uh, comes down if you protonate it will go 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 up okay this is the kind of uh, uh, molecular motion which has been used as a molecular elevator so deprotonation and protonation make this molecular elevator to function 
So next one is a molecular elevator function. Here I have shown as an animation. In this animation, that a elevator, a molecular elevator elevating function makes that molecule to move on the to on the macro tubes. This these functions are happening in our biological system. So similarly, this is also a kind of a this is also a kind of a molecular elevator motion where that a walking push, a walking motion has been taken place. These are the important things.